Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have a list of upcoming anime games that I'm really looking forward to trying out. Please note that many of these games don't have a confirmed release date yet, and it's uncertain if a global version will be available. However, I personally believe these games are worth the wait. As a fan of action RPG games, you'll find that many of the games on the list fall into the ARPG, but there are also some other genres represented. So be sure to check out the list and see which one catches your interest. Ok, let's look into the list now. First three are original anime based games. One Punch Man World, an action RPG game based on the popular manga and anime series One Punch Man. Recently, the game had a closed beta test in June, and the initial reviews from testers has been quite positive. It's available for both PC and mobile platforms, and if you are a fan of One Punch Man, this is definitely a game worth checking out. Solo Leveling, an ARPG game which is originated as a famous webtoon based on a web novel. Although the game hasn't had any beta test yet, those who had the chance to try it during G Star 2022 provided positive feedback. This game is expected to be released for both PC and mobile platforms sometime in 2023. Shangri-La Frontier is another manga-based game being developed by Netmarble. The PV for the game was released just a few days ago, so there isn't much information available at the moment. However, Netmarble has mentioned in a job posting on their Project SF that it will be an open-world RPG game built with Unreal Engine 5. As a fan of the original manga, I've included this game on the list. Next three games are third-person shooting RPG genre games. Snowbreak Containment Zone has announced its official launch day on July 20th. While opinions on the game's modeling may be mixed, I personally found the shooting mechanics to be quite satisfying. The recent addition of the hide and cover shot combined with parkour elements has further improved the overall battle experience. I believe this game is definitely worth giving a try. It's available on both mobile and PC platforms. Into the Void is a retro futuristic third person shooter game. Although there isn't much information available yet, as evident from the PV, the game showcases impressive art and action, and I'm looking forward to hearing more news about this game. Project UH is a blend of third-person shooter and roguelike elements. Some people refer to it as a shooter version of Jealous John Zero. The game underwent testing in April, but there hasn't been much news since then. I hope to hear updates from the developer soon. Next two games are flying action games. Sword is an airspace flying shooting RPG game developed by the same team behind the Atari Gear. I was surprised when they decided to venture into the full 3D games after Atari Gear. While the initial reviews have been mixed, I'm personally looking forward to giving it a try. This game will be available on both mobile and PC platforms. Project Nornium takes on a machine-themed space-flying action RPG concept. I don't know the full story, but the original project known as Aujora no Shifra was unfortunately cancelled. And Project Nornium is like a revived version developed by a different team. Let's hope that this time the game can be successfully launched without any issue in the future, as it looks really fun to play.
Next three is side-scrolling games. Kurozeki to me is an oriental style horizontal adventure mobile game that has a unique and bizarre atmosphere. The gameplay combines elements of platforming with fakuru mechanics, creating an intriguing experience. This game has received highly positive reviews during its beta testing phase, so let's definitely keep an eye on this game. Validity Dreamland is a 3D side-scrolling science fiction action mobile game. This game is a relatively new game with only one PB release so far. However, from what you can see in PB, the action in this game looks pretty cool. I'll be sure to update you all as soon as new information become available. Project Overkill is a Bell Scroll action game. This particular game is being developed by Neopool, known for their work on the popular Dungeon and Fighter IP. Given Neopool's extensive experience in servicing Dungeon and Fighter, the action in Project Overkill looks very promising. But the problem is developing period is getting longer and longer. This game will be available on both mobile and PC platform. Next two is Tower Defense Games. Claims are a 3D tower defense game currently in open beta. The initial impression of the game have been positive, showcasing solely tower defense mechanics and well executed 3D modeling. For now, let's keep an eye out for news regarding a global service release. Tamira is another 3D tower defense game. This game stands out with its detailed modeling, allowing players to get a close view with the units during battles. It appears that Tamira also has the core fundamentals of a tower defense game. You can look forward to seeing more of the gameplay once they conduct an open beta test in August. Next three are turn-based RPG games. Ethereal Restart is a turn-based RPG set in a near-future urban landscape with a theme of ghost and priest. The game features impressive art and combat mechanics, although the art style may resemble that of Honkai Star Rail, which already holds a strong position. Let's keep an eye out for more updates as the game enters testing soon. Fellow Moon is an urban supernatural-themed, horizontal exploration, turn-based game. With its unique art style and intriguing concept, this game seems pretty interesting. Let's wait for further updates on this game. Girls Protoline 2 is a tactical turn-based game that showcases a completely different art style from the previous series. Both the combat and character modeling appears amazing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to participate in the beta tests, but let's await for more information on this game as the test will start soon. Celeste John Zero from Hoyoverse is a famous one that doesn't require much explanation. 
However, there haven't been many updates since the last CBT, which took place almost a year ago. Let's hope that we will hear some new updates soon, perhaps during an upcoming game event. Wuthering Waves from Kuro Games is another open-world ARPG game that many people are awaiting. Given Kuro Games' reputation for action-packed gameplay as seen in Punishing Grey Raven, the action in Wuthering Waves holds a lot of promise. Like Genless John Zero, there haven't been many updates since the last CBT, but we hope to receive more news during an upcoming event too. Crystal of Atlan is currently undergoing an open beta test, and so far the experience has been enjoyable. The combat mechanics are fun, and the inclusion of co-op play and PvP adds to excitement of the game. In my opinion, the hit impact and targeting system could be improved more, but overall the game is fun, and I'm looking forward to its global launch. Project BB is another ARPG with a top-down view. The use of this top-down view has mixed feeling among players, and it's intriguing to see how it will be utilized in the game. Additionally, the art style of this game is captivating, and I look forward to see more updates soon. Ring of Fire from Matthews is an action-adventure game with pixel art visuals. Despite being a pixel art game, the hit effects and impact are quite impressive, and the illustrated art is also well done. However, after the previous beta tests, the reviews regarding the gacha system in the game were not positive. Hopefully, the developers will address this issue and showcase improvement in the next test. And Last Night is another ARPG currently in development. The previous tests indicate that the game still has room for improvement but shows potential. I love the concept of the game and hope to see another test soon. Double Realm Linking Points is an action RPG game where players can collect and utilize various weapons found in the map. The developers emphasize that they do not stick to a fixed game mode but pursue the experience that players can always get fresh gameplay. Let's await more information about this game as the beta test is scheduled for August. Unending Dawn is an open-world ARPG built with Unreal Engine 5. This game gives a feeling of Souls-like game, and is often referred to as an anime version of Elden Ring. However, as it is a relatively new game, with only one PB release so far, further updates are needed. I will provide updates when new information becomes available. Extraordinary Ones, Mirage is an open-world RPG game developed by NetEase. 
This one is also interesting as the previous series was MOBA game. The PV showcase high quality visuals and highlights cooperative gameplay. Although some predict it will be a turn-based game, I hope it leans more toward an action-oriented game. Let's wait for the combat PV to learn more. Arc Knights and Pill is a real-time 3D RPG with strategic elements developed by Hypergraph. It is an open-world game. But unfortunately, there is no new information available other than the two PVs that have already been released. And we need more updates from developers to see the details of the game. So that was my list of 27 upcoming anime games that I'm looking forward to have. Which one catch your interest the most? And which one am I missing in the list? Let me know your list of games in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye guys.